Danny Albert, along with Blake Bolden in the broadcast booth, and we are honored to welcome in the great Billy Jean King as we get set for the second period. Uh, Billy Jean, thanks so much for joining us. Now, you play tennis at so many of the iconic sporting venues around the world, including Madison Square Garden. Yes, what I is play it, here a lot. Yeah, what does it mean to you to be here tonight? Well, it means so much because uh, these women that play hockey, I mean, it's just amazing. Um, you know, that. They're amazing in that they're trying to get women's professional hockey off, and we need a league of what we need, okay? And so um, it's just so exciting to be here and see the hockey. You know, I grew up in team sports. My brother played professional baseball. So I'm a team kid, and I love hockey, and I never was exposed to it. And Blake, congratulations on being a scout for the Kings. And Kenny, I've been listening to you for years, so you guys were fantastic. Thank you so much, Billie Jean King. I'm asking for a friend. You've been such a trailblazer. Where do you get your fearlessness? It started when I was 13, year old, 13 years old, and I had an epiphany at the Los Angeles Tennis Club. And I asked, I'm sorry, I'm watching the game. I'm at, you know, I, I, I thought about, um, I was sitting there, and, and I, I, tennis was my last sport that I played. I played all team sports before that. And I noticed that everyone was play, playing with uh, white shoes, white socks white clothes every, and white balls and everybody who played was white and I asked myself where's everybody else and that was the moment that I decided I'd fight for um, you know I'd champion equality the rest of my life and Althea Gibson the first black ever to win a major uh, was my shero and I read her book and slept with it and so I want to have not only the hockey get started but we're going to have to get women of color we're going to have to do a lot of work but you know what they're doing an amazing job uh, and the, uh, the PWHPA is formed. Now they have one voice, which is really important. Uh, but I just can't wait. We've got to get a league started. And thanks to the Rangers, thanks to Madison Square Garden, thanks to everyone who has been a part of this. I think the Messier Foundation gave $100,000. Thank you to them. And that's Mark, I think, and Mary Kay. So it's just am amazing that uh, more and more people are starting to think about women's hockey uh, to be big, to be professional. And look at the potential. And these women are great athletes. I mean, I love hockey. I wish I'd had a chance to play as a kid because it's quick. It's to change directions. It's hand-eye coordination. You have to change. You have to cut the corner. All the things that I love in sports, hockey has it all. So I just hope more and more kids will take hockey up and we eventually will have a pro league and make sure the women stick together in one organization like they are. And we've got to have the top players together, more importantly. Uh, but we want all the hockey players to have a chance to play. We want to get, you know, you have over 700 guys playing in the NHL. Why not have, you know, 500, 700 women playing eventually? And that should be our long-term goal, but short-term goal. First, we need maybe six, six teams would be great. Just to get started, just like the original six in the NHL would be fun maybe to be like that. But there's so many great women out there and uh, the college has some uh, good talent pool and it can just get better and better. But also, it's, just think about it, it's international. It's not just the U.S. players and Canadian players. It's, you know, it can be Finnish players. It can be players from any place in the world that play hockey that should be playing in this league. The dream, you know, the dream gap tour, is, the dream is in there for a reason. Thanks to Secret for their million dollar um, investment in women's hockey. It means a lot to everyone. And these women are fighting for the next generation, not just for themselves. It yep. surely does. Thank you so much, Billie Jean. Now, Billie Jean, we heard your message to these players prior to the game. What is your message to young girls watching at home? Watch it and try. let's try to get you playing. Make sure you can play. And uh, we've got a lot of work to do to make sure we have women of color as well. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just, you know, we just got to figure that out. And maybe, uh, Blake, you can help us with that because that's what we need. How can we get kids of color to get into this sport? Uh, which is really important. So they're trying to do a lot of things on a lot of fronts, but uh, thank you so much for having me, and it's a privilege to be back at Madison Square Garden, and I know your dad, Kenny, and I've been watching you forever, so say hi to Mark. Well, Billy Jean, I certainly will. We appreciate it, and I'm not sure if you have a monitor, but uh, up on the screen now is a photo of you playing wow. here, yep. 1983. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was over the hill. That's the year, <laughs> that's the year I, I retired. You can see all those knee operations. Look. But no, it was a privilege to play here. And also I played for the uh, New York Apples. We won the uh, championship team tennis. That's men and women on each team. And uh, we won here. And uh, I love, you know, that's the reason I live in New York City is because of team tennis. That's incredible. The Women's Sports Foundation has scholarships 
funding for sports and girls programs. Were you imagining for the Women's Sports Foundation to be this impactful? Well, that was the dream back in 1974 when I received a $5,000 con uh, check for being the Athlete of the Year from Bob Hope and uh, Tony Randall. Tony Randall of the Odd Couple. Uh, and I said then, I said, with this $5,000, uh, we're going to start the Women's Sports Foundation. And here we are many, many years later. And we've given out over $85 million. And we want to do more and more. But also, we protect Title IX in the sports aspect. Uh, but the dream is, yes, I always, you got to dream it first. You've got to, you know, in the, when the kids can see these, these players, they, they can dream about, if you can see it, you can be it. And that's what it, tonight's all about. If these kids watching out there, you can do this. See it to be, be it, believe in it, then go for it. Because uh, hockey can just bring so much great things to you. You can get a scholarship to college if you're American or Canadian or from some other country. So um, it's, it's amazing what hockey, the potential of hockey, women's hockey is over the moon. I mean, uh, I'll be gone when it's right, but I can envision it now. It's pretty easy to envision. It's just hard to get there. First power play of the game coming up with Cody Cross in the penalty box. Minnesota to the power play as we take a look at the replay. Now, Billy Jean, you come from such an athletic family. You mentioned your brother, Randy Moffitt, yes. major league pitcher for over a decade. You said you never played hockey, but did you ever ice skate as a youngster? Oh, I was terrible, but you know what? If there was hockey, I would have had a goal. That would have changed everything. I would have practiced a lot more. No, but then I found tennis when I was 11. Thank God Susan Williams asked me to play in the fifth grade, and I said, what's tennis? Because uh, I, you know, I was baseball, football, ba basketball was my first love. But, you know, they're all similar. You know, you run in different directions. You've got hand-eye coordination. You've got to be able to cut corners. You've got to be able to see the field. Um, you got to see, just like Gretzky, I guess he could see where it was going before it was there. But, I mean, you have to know all these things. You've got to have that purple vision. Oh, I would love this. Are you kidding? This is hot heaven here. There's still time? <laughs> I don't think so, but <laughs> I sure love it. I sure I love uh, watching, and I love meeting each and every one of them. And uh, they're making a difference. I hope they know that. You're such an inspiration, Billy. It's so amazing to have you here. I want to know, how did you become our PWHPA champion? Well, um, we really try to help women's sports. We try to help, uh, and I, we want to get more women owners. I hope uh, women will start owning women's hockey teams as well as the men's teams a lot more. Um, but I, I was, we got to meet, we met Kendall Coyne, Schofield and we met some other players, but Alana and I met with them. And the first question I asked them, I go, do you guys have an, a union or association? And they go, no. So Ilana, Klaus, my partner, and uh, was a great player herself, number one in the world in doubles. She really uh, put a lot of work in with them. And I was on once in a while, but Ilana Klaus does the heavy lifting. And she, uh, we, we said, you have to have an association. You have to have a union. You have to have one voice and you have to have the top players because the top players are going to make it happen. They're going to they're going to get it started and then you can get up to, you know, 150, 200, 250, 300, 400. But you've got to have the top players to do that. We did that in tennis 50 years ago uh, and and get the sponsorship like a secret. You need all that help. You need help from everyone. And so uh, that's where we got the idea and we just got more and more involved and we helped sponsor uh, one of the dream back things in Chicago last year. Well, that was quite an experience for me. I, they had me out in the center at the Blackhawk game. That was hilarious. Uh, so anyway, uh, it, it, it just, we care about women's sports. We care about women's basketball. We're part owners of the Sparks. We're also part owners of the Dodgers, which is great. It's, it's only men, though, um, that have a whole other ideas for that. And also, we own part of the uh, City Angel football um, the soccer team in L.A., uh, and then on the Philadelphia Freedoms in Team Tennis still. So it's, um, it's an amazing uh, experience. But being an owner, and we used to own, my former husband and I used to own tournaments, and uh, I understand the other side of it. I understand operations, I understand sponsorship, I understand the fans, and we need the fans. i tell you, one thing I'm missing tonight is the fans. The fans are such a big part of the entertainment package. They just make it, you know, and it's, uh, it's great. Absolutely. Well, Billie Jean, thank you so much for everything you've done for women's sports, the Women's Sports Foundation. It's a terrific night here at Madison Square Garden. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Kenny. Thanks, Blake. Thanks, Billy.